Hi everyone, you're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff and in this video I'm going to show you some of the coolest new features of Color Finale 2. Recently I did a video where I gave my opinion about the software and I like it, it's good, it's good software. I thought I'd save this one for its own separate video because it's pretty cool. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, it's the best way to help me out and support this channel. Let's do it. So jumping into Color Finale and we're going to edit layers. We've got this clip here and it's it's a walk and follow shot and what I'm going to do is I want to track and mask our subject's face because it's quite a quite a contrasty scene and I want to bring the shadows up on one side and bring the highlights down on the other. So what I've done is I've added a an instance of curves and if I turn it on, you can see, yes, I know it looks a bit weird with the rest of the color in the scene, but it's gonna make sense once we add our mask. You can see the face, it's brought the shadows up and it's brought the highlights down a little bit and the colors are slightly tweaked just to keep, keep it sort of a good skin tone kind of color. And you can see I've added a mask here and when you bring up the screen, what it's gonna ask you to do is you can add lots of different shapes I'm, you can just add an oval, of course, for her face, but as you know, she's wearing a, a scarf and a hat, I thought best probably just to draw a more suitable shaped mask. So let's do that right now. And of course, I'm going to feather. Let's do 50% and let's also turn the opacity down just a little bit so it's not quite so obvious, 70%. And then it comes to the tracking part. And you can see here along the bottom, we've got the tracking panel. And all I'm gonna do is click here, which will track forwards. And if I move this, you can see the progress. Overall, I found this tracking system does a really nice job. It works, I think, as well as the mocker based tracking systems. Side by side, you can really see the difference in our subject's face. I'm really loving this feature in Color Finale 2. Okay, next we have this shot, which is incredibly high contrast. I've got the sun directly behind our subject, and that's going to be difficult for a tracking program to track a subject. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but in this case, I want to just bring the exposure up on our subject's face just gently, just to give the effect as if I'm holding a reflector onto a face. Just a, you know, just a little bit of fill, a little bit of bounce light. So let's do that now. Let's go into edit layers again. And I have prepared a curve that will do that, roughly that kind of effect, just to bring the exposure up gently on her face. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, it affects the whole image. So that's because I haven't applied the mask yet. So let's do that now. As before, I'm gonna draw a mask on and I'm just doing it quickly, but you know, you can spend ages and you can correct as you know, obviously I went over a bit here. I can correct that and just bring it in a tiny bit. And I'm just going to turn the opacity down again to 80, just to make it a little more subtle. And the feather needs to be around 50%, I think for this sort of mask. There we go, much more subtle. So let's track. This is a really challenging job for a tracking engine and I, I gotta say, it does it pretty well. The best tracking software I've tried is the Mocha engine. And I gotta say, this is this is up there. It It's doing it as well as any Mocha system I've tried. So here's before we add Color Finale. And then when we add it, you can see it's like having a nice bounce light on our subject. So there we have it, tracked masks in Color Finale 2. How cool is this? Of course, the sky is the limit. I just showed you with the curves function, you can use it with the color wheels, with the HSL curves, you name it. That's it for now, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that button. See you guys.